Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you the benefits of attacking, how to attack, and the benefits of having your planets spread around the galaxy. So to start off with, here is my first target. So if this guy had his planets all in the same sector, and I wanted to take him out for war, I just wanted to completely wipe him out, it would be easy for me to find him. But if his planets spread around the galaxy, like as you see it's a big galaxy, so if his planets spread around it's going to be very hard for me to track him. Also the other benefits of having your planets spread around, if, it, if my planets in here, depending on my agent strength <coughs> and my technology, I may have an, a range to infiltrate missions of, say around here. Now if my planets are spread around, I have another one here as well, or say one here, not only do I have the range of that, I have the range of that as well, and the range of that. So obviously you can do infiltration missions a lot further around the galaxy. Now, so, if I click on, this is my target, now you can either spy drone him, or infiltrate missions and survey him to find what he's going to plan. Remember, the, info, the survey speculation can be 20% out depending on your agent strength. The spy drone, if you have the option to spy drone, that's completely accurate. Now, that obviously, to get your um, chance to spy drone better, you need to have intelligence tech. I'll show you the techs in a bit. So, I'm able to spy drone, so let's click him. Now, as you can see, this planet has a lot on it, so unless I just wanted to wipe the guy out, it wouldn't be worth attacking this planet. It's just going to do me a lot of damage. So, as you can see, if you go on attack here, and I wanted to send that. So if I wanted to attack the guy just for war purposes, so I click on planets for sit there. Uh, say three motherships, five gliders. So three motherships. You type in there, five gliders. Uh, what's he got? Nine. Yeah, sorry, I've already typed that in. So, without weapons technology, as you can already see, I've killed all of his troops, and I've only lost that. Now, as you can see, weapons technology makes a, bif a big difference. Say, for instance, he's only got one tech in this. I've got 100 weapons tech, 100 aviation. He has one now, as you can see. You see the big difference technology makes in a battle. So, technology. I'll explain that in a sec. But so yeah, so this this example of a target is only for someone you want to wipe out if you're at war with them. It's not worth attacking this person for status. Now, click up here. This is your technology. So if you're an aggressive player, you're going to want to go for maxing weapons and maxing obviation. That's the two crucial parts for an aggressive player. Now, um, yeah, so if, if your weapons are higher than their shield level, you're going to do a lot more damage um, and take less losses. That's obviously, that's what the um, obviation is for as well. You take less military losses if your aviation is high. Now salvage. <coughs> salvage if you lose a battle, uh, say for instance someone's wiped your mothership out and you've got maxed in salvage, you'll get a lot of the Nacrida back that you've lost for your units in your depository. So that's quite handy if someone's wiping you out. You can always, always have another chance straight over again. Now for defensive players, so you're probably going to want salvage if you're a defensive player. You're mainly going to want obviation and armor and shields. So obviously, if your armor and shield is a lot higher when you're defending than their weapons, it's going to make a very big difference in battle. Now, I'm going to show you the <coughs> targets you want to hit for status. So I've already saved another one of his. So back to spy drone again. Now, as you can see, he's got nothing on this planet except for 40 turrets. So if I go to here. On the battle calculator, 40. Say so 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. 
I won't even have to bother with the technology because the, your mothership's 100k raw attack points and staff turrets are only 600 each um, defense points so your weapons are not going to, um, your, your technology is not going to make a difference here so as you can see I made a mistake sorry that's why <laughs> I put a 400 in staff turret so let's try that again always double check in case you make a mistake like this that you've typed it in right so now as you can see attacker 100k points from other ship I lost nothing defender now currently I would be sieging the the planet by now so to check your sieges out as I haven't attacked him at the moment check your sieges out click here off world armies now if I had attacked I'd be sieging him which I'll get the option to take over or carry on sieging him this is a current vacant planet I'm current sieging so to update your status points every time you go to do that off world armies then click that would update your status so every 10 minutes your status points updates um, that's every 10 minutes is a cycle so you can click on every 10 minutes or you can just wait for a few hours and click on it once and it will collect all the cycles in one to update so now go to here gold ranks status this will show you what your current status is and your rank now the benefits of status so go to guide mechanics down here you'll see the different status levels so as you see I'm currently ruler now to gain status you can only gain status from people with the same status rank as you one lower than you or one higher than you any more any higher or lower than that you won't gain any status of the player you're sieging now because I'm a ruler I'll, if I attack someone my own level I'll, I'll gain two status points per, um, per cycle one higher than me four one lower than me one now if you scroll a little bit lower down as you can see starting from the rank dreadful each player will receive the following bonuses and request such for each rank higher so 5% more Naquita production for each level you go up 5% her attack bonus 2500 max military population 5% infiltration strength now each unit you have requires more military population the bigger the unit so obviously this is a, a great bonus to help out on for your military population so yeah so obviously you want to get to the highest rank you can in status so you're going to get a lot of boosts throughout the way so yeah thank you that's the benefits of attacking and status thank you